I want to caution you. No mindless MCQ practice. What does mindless MCQ practice means? I'm just focusing on how many questions I practice. I should focus on yes, how many questions you practice, which I'm saying 100 to 120 every day. Second thing, you should focus on how many questions you got wrong. You should go through the explanation of the wrong question. Third thing, you should maintain a balance between physics, chemistry, and biology. If you're not going to maintain your balance in physics, chemistry, and biology, you're never going to crack government medical college because in neat exam, all three subjects subjects are going to come it is not going to be only biology good afternoon students a lot of you have my telegram id and my whatsapp number and you like to send your achievements daily to me some of you at least i'm not able to respond to everyone but one typical thing that comes my way is sir i practiced 400 questions today students are expecting a pat from me what they get from me are a bunch of questions. My first question from them is, what is your correct percentage? And this is where everything falls apart. The second thing that I ask is, what is the breakup in physics, chemistry, bio? So typically students don't know about this correct percentage, which is an absolute tragedy. Typically 400 questions translate into, sir, I practice 375 questions in bio. Both of these things are examples of what I call mindless question practice. Mindless question practice. What is mindless question practice? I started practicing questions. First question I got wrong, doesn't matter. Second I got wrong, doesn't matter. I keep moving forward. Third I got wrong, doesn't matter. Fourth I got wrong, doesn't matter. As you keep practicing like this, what you will ultimately do, uh, I'm not able to get physics chemistry questions right. Let me start doing bio questions and then I will do. Then I will start getting wrong in bio also. Then I will check from the uh, from the back and then I'll keep marking. It's complete cheating guys. You're completely being dishonest with yourself. Please don't do it. This is what I would recommend to you. It is very, very important that you should measure your correct percentage. You should keep track of your correct percentage. If you're on target batch, I will tell you how you'll get it on a daily basis. If you are practicing from a book where all these technology things are not available, you have to capture it on, on a sheet. But this is wrong that you keep practicing without trying to understand why you are getting these questions wrong. That is not done. Second thing is physics, chemistry, bio. In neat exam, you will get questions in this ratio in physics, chemistry, bio. When you are practicing question, let's say if you practice 400 questions also the breakup should be 100 question physics 100 chemistry 200 bio as soon as you try and do it you'll figure out you'll not be able to practice 400 questions as soon as someone tells me i have practiced 400 questions that means he has largely practiced all bio questions which is a complete waste of your time the other thing i want to tell you is you don't need to practice 400 questions probably a good number is 120 how let me tell you so in physics chemistry, I've told you 100 to 150 questions per chapter. In bio, 150 to 200 questions per chapter. Where is this coming from? Recommended MCQs? In target batch? Recommended PYQs? And AR and other types. Right? This is what we need to do. This is what we need to do, guys. So it is important that what this translates into is physics and music are 59 chapters, bio IRS 32 chapters. 59 into 150 is 8850, 32 into 200, 6400, total 15250 questions. If you have to finish everything from now till 28 February, which is around 24 weeks, Divide 15 to 50 by 24 weeks, you'll get 650 MCQs. In a week, which means daily less than 100 MCQs. Additionally, as you go along, you will start figuring out these are my weak areas. You need to practice more questions out of your weak areas. Assume 200 questions on weak areas every week. So that makes it around 850 questions per week. This makes it around 850 questions per week. And this means around 120 questions daily around 120 questions daily. And let me tell you again, what does that mean? 120 MCQs daily, or let's say 840 MCQs per week, right? 
सो फिजिक्स केमिस्ट्री बायो आई सेट वन वन टू रेशियो सो अप्रॉक्सिमेटली टू हंड्रेड टू हंड्रेड फोर हंड्रेड दिस इज इनफ गाइज दिस बैलेंस हैज टू बी मेंटेन दिस माइंडलेस प्रैक्टिस हैज टू स्टॉप and you have to take care of your correct percentage when you get a question wrong after every 10 questions stop start going through each of the question you got wrong go through the explanation of it try and get it in your head why were you getting it wrong so that if you need to go back and practice again go back and see theory again do it but don't do it this way mindless mcq practice is not going to take you anywhere you are just hearing to the noise and responding in the wrong way question practice has to be done but you have to make sure that you are practicing properly you are maintaining balance between physics chemistry and biology let me show you how you will see this correct percentage in target batch so if you come to neatprep.com at home what you will see are these two graphics right i'll tell you what these two graphics are one graphic is quantity of questions quantity of question number of questions practice so what this shows is for last 5 weeks how many questions you have practiced very good like this week is bad because you only practice bio questions this becomes red if it uh, for every chapter you have not practiced at least 20% questions so this is telling you how many questions you have practiced in last 5 week this number has to be approximately i should not write greater otherwise you guys are going to go berserk i should say 800 to 1000 questions per week right with the right balance of if if i can extra extrapolate it like this like this physics chemistry bio right here it shows quality of questions quality of questions means you practice questions physics nine questions you practice you got three right six chemistry questions you practice you got two right five bio questions you practice you got two right this number should be closer to 80% when you try for the first time it should be closer to 90 to 95% when you are revising the chapter okay so this is where you will find out when you are practicing question with some lag around 1 to 2 hours you can press this and it might get updated immediately or it might take some time but this is what you need to do so this is one place where you can find out exactly how many questions you practice and how many questions you got right the other places come down and you will see what we call the performance report you click on view report and then what you will see is i've shared this uh, in the video which i did with uh, dr arinda singh as well click on generate sh snapshot and this will tell you you have practiced 10214 questions based on last 1000 questions this is your predicted score you are getting 524 out of 720 based on last 2000 uh, questions and it will show the details if you will see here the correct percentage is pretty bad in chemistry which should be expected because student is getting 113 marks in physics also very few places it is 85% in laws of motion in waves it is 83% otherwise it is pretty low so you exactly know what is the problem go to generate dpp and then what you will do is you say let's say i'm going to practice a dpp of errors because i'm not getting enough right you create dpp and then you can print pdf you also have the option of writing it in cbt mode which is what is expected if need happens in two levels though there is as usual in india things are going slow there though there is no confirmation over it so you click on start cbt mode and you will be able to write it in cbt mode the kind of user interface you, you can expect in neat exam right if it happens second level online so this is pretty much it guys i hope you understand i want to caution you no mindless mcq practice what does mindless mcq practice means i'm just focusing on how many questions i practice i should focus on yes how many questions you practice which i'm saying 100 to 120 every day second thing you should focus on how many questions you got wrong you should go through the explanation of the wrong question third thing you should maintain a balance between physics chemistry and biology if you're not going to maintain your balance in physics chemistry and biology you're never going to crack government medical college because in neat exam all three subjects are going to come it is not going to be only biology so hopefully guys you have understood what i'm trying to say please confirm to me in the comment section 
you are not going to do mindless MCQ practice. If you have any questions from me, you can ask me in the comment section. All right, students.